Cadabra giant tortoises are uh, one of only two giant tortoise species left in the world. And to date, we didn't have any reference genomes available for, for the species. Having a high quality reference genome is highly important for the conservation project of the species and for some evolutionary biology related questions because we know that they're giant and they're super cool. Um, the reference genome that we assembled is one of the highest quality reference genomes available for all colonians, for turtles and tortoises. Um, and it's really important to have such complete and contiguous reference genomes for a species because all the downstream analysis depends, partially depends on the, these metrics, these quality metrics. And what we did was to use some HiFi sequencing and IC sequencing and we coupled it with uh, several RNA-seq data that was um, produced for the Aldabra giant tortoises for the first time. And by using all these types of information, we assembled the chromosome level reference genome for Aldabra giant tortoises. And also we performed some chromosomal synthin analyses and some population genetic analyses. For the synthin analyses, we revealed that most of the genomes of Aldabra giant tortoises are actually similar to other giant tortoise reference genomes, which also sheds light on and agrees with the previous studies that tortoises are quite a conserved lineage. And for the PopGen perspective, we used several wild collected individuals that were housed in Suri Zoo, and we basically found the origin of location for these individuals. That type of analysis is quite important for the breeding purposes of these individuals. Um, outside of their natural habitats. So we believe the reference genome you know, of Aldabra giant tortoises will be of tremendous help, not only Aldabra giant tortoise populations all around the world, but also other East African or Madagascan turtle or tortoise species because uh, they are evolutionary closely related to each other. Finally, Aldabra giant tortoises have been successfully used in the rewilding projects in Western Indian Ocean Islands which means that they have been used for replacing the ecological roles of already extinct giant tortoises there, and they help resurrect degraded ecosystems, like ecosystem engineers. So for these rewilding projects, it is highly important to um, make sure that the rewilded populations show as much genetic diversity as possible for their potential adaptability for their new environments. With this reference genome, um, much more effective genetic management projects could, go, uh, could work and eventually that will help the effectiveness of the revival.